ponder that question for a second. I, you know, I think that he, he's got uh, the quintessential things that uh, a, you say a walk on, but really a guy that's that's always been successful. He's just always been a little bit, you know, uh, shorter than the next guy. I ain't gonna pull a punch on it. I mean, he'd be first to tell you. He walk in here, you probably wouldn't be able to see him um, behind this deal, but. He's got great instinct. Um, you know, I don't tell him to get low because he's already down there. Uh, he actually, I joke with that a little bit. I, I joke with him a little bit about that. You know what? He's very physical. He's very explosive. He can go from here to there. You know, before you blink an eye, and uh, he knows what to do. Uh, it's important to him. He's got good spirit. You know, again, he's got he's got all the intangibles, um, you know, that you could ask for. You know, I can't remember the, the young man's name. He reminds me of a linebacker that played at Lincoln County High School, not Lincoln County, at Lincoln, Tallahassee, Lincoln. Um, probably when I was here in 03 and 04, he went to Florida State, and. He, like he can go from here to there, you know, like I said, in a blink. And uh, he was short, but he, he was a really good player for them. And we're anticipating Carlton being a good player for us. Um, you know, a lot of times, like Coach Tommy Bowden used to tell me, the only one that cares about that much is your wife. So, you know, it's just, you know, that, we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> All right, Jarvis Hayes is probably 180 degrees from Carl. He, he's if you put defensive end uh, in the dictionary, it's probably got his picture. He's extremely fast, very, very, very quick. He could play the bandit position for us um, if if we wanted him to. Uh, he's uh, he's going to be hard to block. Uh, he's a speed rush guy. That's his attributes. Got a good feel. Again, he plays at pad level. Um, you know, he, he does the things that you need a defensive end to do. Yeah, do we need we would like him to be 20 pounds heavier, probably so. But uh, we're, as a as a whole unit, we're we're pretty light. But I think we run okay. Uh, no, I think that maybe the part that's been the surprise is that he's picked the stuff up as quickly as he has. Coach Leslie, you know. Um, you know, he, he's from down here in Slocum, and he was over there uh, in Coach Leslie's old stomping grounds. And I think they've kind of hit it off, and I just think that they've got a good chemistry, coach player, and, and he's learning stuff well. Well, I, I guess. I go back, um, you know, to some of the guys I've had in the past at that position, and he's so different. And so we use him in a, in a different role. Um, we're going to try to put him in a position to be successful um, by using his finesse. And he's not, he's not like your prototypical defensive end type guy. So. We're, when he's in, we're we're going to be way more like a three-four type defense. Um, you know, having him—that's what we started doing with it last year, and that's kind of who we've become a little bit. And uh, he he gets he gets between guys. We we kind of call him slithery or whatever, if that's a word. But he finds a way of getting through. He has really got a great knack. He is uh, twice what he was at any time last year as far as his knowledge, his ability to get get through the crack, the ability to fill the block and he he's really a handful for our offense right now. And uh, you know, I know they know all our calls and stuff and they still have a hard time finding him. So uh, you know Hunter's really done a good job of kind of taking it to the next level and, and I tell you it really helps to understand how things work, and he kind of understands how everything works, and so he's able to put him in, himself in a position. 
he, he, he'll pre-snap pre a line to get the line to go a certain direction. He'll end up somewhere else and they have a hard time. So he's really, uh, he's really kind of taking it to another level. I'm really proud of the things he's done and I, he seems to be healthier than he was last year. Well, I, I would have thought um, we were pretty good. We're pretty fast. Marcus and Dunlap and Blaze, just to name the three corners right there. Um, you know, the cat safety position is probably the one that's the most up in the air. Uh, Tyler Murray and Will Sunderland, uh, Sean Darius Sprawlins at, at Spear. I mean, we've got we've got three good players there, and um, I think we've got some depth at the other safety. We we have to we have to bring along that cat safety position. Uh, Melvin Tyus is in the best shape of his life, but he's still coming off of the shoulder deal, so he hasn't been cleared to, to do full contact yet, we're, we're, but we're having to pull the reins in on him. Um, there's some lot of depth issues right there. Uh, our offense is a handful, and uh, like I said, I would have thought, but they they got a, you know, a deep pass on us today. They beat us on some slants. Um, there's a lot, a lot of fundamental stuff we got to get better. Yesterday's practice, we went down in the red zone and they dusted us pretty good. And um, so and we've got some good receivers to go against and we, you know, we need to, we need to continue to get better. I, we're not even, defensively, we've got a lot of things we got to fix over the next two weeks. And I'm not even talking about game plan stuff. I'm just talking about fundamental stuff. Uh, and it's a sign of the times as far as all this tackling and everything, everybody's scared to use their head, everybody's scared to do this, everybody has problems with that. And we've got to fix some fundamental things and we've got to really improve whether our man coverage in the red zone or our tackling, you know, we've got a lot of fundamental things we've really got to improve on. Um, Trying to think of the ones he he, he uh, you know when he's on and it's he hadn't been in there three plays then then he's a real solid player uh, he's like a lot of the prototypical NFL guys that are early down guys uh, you know he's gonna he's fighting with his his weight and when anyone that fights with their weight then there's a stamina issue so we're continuing to work on that. He, he's a load, he's explosive in a small area. He, uh, you know, I'm just trying to think about guys that I've coached. I mean, he, he's, right, he's right along with the guy I had at Illinois that's, that's been playing the NFL for a few years, so, excuse me. Well, Coach Pogue, two two things, and I, you notice I was smiling about that. He's uh, he's about as good good a person as there is, as good as gold guy, and um, he really he's a he's a very good guy to have on your staff because he's very loyal. He understands the way staffs are supposed to work. I've been on some where guys have their own agenda, and they're trying to they're trying to get themselves somewhere. We we don't have that on our staff. Uh, he's always got a lot of juice. He, he's always got something going. He's um, every every time we have a meeting, he's the guy that kind of lightens it up a little bit. Um, he's he's really good with his players, and when he when they need to be got on gotten on, excuse me, um, then he does a good job getting on them. I, I really don't have to discipline his players, or I may a little bit because. I want other guys to hear it. You know, sometimes if you coach your best players the hardest, you know, if I get on Marcus Jones, Marcus can handle it. And some other guys are hearing me doing that. It's oh, well, I better tighten up. So I don't have to really, you know, coach his guys much except just talk about schemes. Um, I, I think he is a great glue guy in, in on the staff because he's got great energy, great emotion. And he's just got the pizzazz about him that just you know that we really need. And and Blaze. 
Uh, there's not there's not a lot of similarity. Sometimes you can get results done, but you can get them done in different ways. You know, a lot of people say there's a lot, many different ways there are ants in Africa, or different ways to skin a cat, and there's a lot of those things. Uh, Blaze is more of a of a long guy. He's going to take longer steps. His techniques need to be different. Uh, We'll coach him to do things in a different way to try to get the same results. Whereas Marcus is a is a smaller, quicker guy. You can play him more up, and uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna use his his uh, versatility as far as his feet, you know, in, in a smaller area. Whereas Blaze kind of needs more open spaces, and you know, we'll play him off and disguise and just do do different things with him. And I think that's what you got to do with all your players. You, know, you don't put a square peg in a round hole and all you know all that stuff. You 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 got to do what your players do. We talked about Hunter. Okay, you know we're doing things that can make him successful. And then when the next guys come in, our calls will be different. And we try to do that with a lot of our players. So um, you know we try to give them a chance to be successful. And if it means doing a few different things, then we got to do a few different things. You know what? I, I don't know if there's a better young man anywhere uh, than Will Sunderland. Um, he is so positive. Our players have, have taken him in. He seems like he's adjusting. He's always been pleasant. You almost don't want to get on to him sometimes because he's, you know, he's one of those guys that's just he's nice. Um, he made some good plays today. Uh, his physicality is, is more than I thought it would be. He made a couple of good tackles today. You know, we're still we're still coaching him. You know, when he was at Oklahoma, um, I think they didn't do a lot with him. They just told him, you got that guy. And then if they had a good, the other team had a good player at, at outside receiver, they put him at outside receiver and said, you got that guy. And so they do just did dude coverage, and I, you know he's pretty good at that. You know it. We're trying to teach him what to do and how to do it, and he's improving every day. And it's important to him. We walked up the hill today, you know, talking about that actually. So it wasn't very long ago. He and I were just talking about that walking up the hill. So he seems like it seems like he's fitting in fine to answer your question. And I noticed one thing from afar. You know, every coach has got a special team. So the punt return coach, Coach Poe. Hey, hey, Will Sutton, yo, you, you over here on punt return? Kickoff team coach. Hey, hey, Will, you're on the kickoff team. Punt team coach. Hey, Will, you're gonna go run down. He ran down on a bullet on, on the kickoff on the punt team today, and he was standing there breathing hot air on the punt return when the ball got there. So he must be doing something right because everybody that coaches special teams is wanting him on their team. So he, he's doing a good job. Oh, I'm sure that's coming. No, I, I, to be candid, he could probably be a really good receiver. Um, but we've got, we're stockpiled in that receiver. So, you know, they can't even shut the door in the wide receiver room or so many of them in there. So. Uh, All right, good. Nice.